Hello, everyone. Wanted to check in for week two of the course. Uh, this week, we'll be reading uh, an essay by Thomas Nagel that's simply called Death. Uh, I just wanted to uh, say just a few general things. Obviously, there are a number of videos. There are, uh, there are multiple videos for the Nagel essay, and that's one of the things I want to comment on, generally speaking, is that this reading is longer and more challenging, at least in its details, than Epicurus. So I think that you're just going to have to budget more time for the reading of this essay. It is not an easy read, um, and uh, I, that's why I, I think, put up multiple videos for it. Because it's, it, it's going to take a while to figure out uh, how many videos I put up, but I put, put up quite a few. Yeah, obviously, the, you know, the, the videos are not a replacement in general for the, the readings. You have to do the readings in conjunction with the videos to really get a, a solid sense of what's happening in these readings. So please use the videos as a supplement and budget your time accordingly, um, you know, due to the fact that this is a not a really long reading, but a longer reading and, and in, in some ways more complex. Yeah, there's four four videos up here and you know that's I think commensurate with the, the difficulty of the reading so uh, about that reading if we go back uh, to the reading uh, I take just in general generally speaking <clears throat> I think the way to read this is uh, as a response to to Epicurus, although Epicurus is never mentioned by name, by Nagel, in this essay, uh, surely it is at the Epicurean position that he is addressing. Um, one of the immediate implications, Epicurus thinks, of his theory of death, that is, that death is the end of all experience, is the end, privation of all awareness, uh, at death we become nothing, that we do not experience death. It is not part of our experience. It is, it, is, it is not something that we ever face. And so it cannot be considered a bad thing for us. It is neither good nor bad, according to Epicurus. It is nothing. The, I think the idea of the Nagel essay in general is that he accepts the first step. That is. He accepts the general theory of death that Epicurus has. That is, that death is the end of all experience. Uh, that death does not uh, entail any kind of uh, negative uh, feelings or states of unhappiness or anything like that. But he rejects Epicurus's inference that therefore death is not a bad thing for the one who dies. You might regard this whole essay, despite its title, which is too general, I suppose a better title for me would be Why Death is Bad. Um, that the, the whole point, I would say, of this essay is to try to establish that despite that theory of death, despite the fact that under that theory we do not experience death and are, are not made to suffer in any way by death and are not made unhappy by death because we do become nothing at death, that despite all that, death is Normally speaking, commonly speaking, death is a bad for the one who dies. So that's a, quite a, I would say, quite a uh, thing to try to prove. And there is a sort of ingenious, I would say, approach that Nagel has to try to prove that. But, so just to say, uh, we're moving on to some of the puzzles, I would say that Epicurus's theory of death brings up. And one of them is, well, under Epicurus's theory of death, he says, death cannot be considered a bad thing for the one who dies. Nagel and many other people would say that that just seems to contradict our deepest intuitions, that death is a misfortune, that death is a wrong or bad for the one who dies. Not, not considering how it could be bad for the living if someone dies, but bad for the one who dies. So. You're sort of taking up the mantle of what he 
he calls the natural view that death is bad for the one who dies and trying to provide an argument that it is without relying on any, any kind of uh, afterlife of all sorts, just accepting the Epicurean idea that we become nothing at death. So, uh, yeah, so uh, just generally speaking, I think you can need to uh, spend more time with the reading this week to really get a handle on it. Yeah, again, use the videos as a supplement to that reading, not as a, a, a substitute for it. Because that will steer you wrong if you rely too much on what I say and not on what the author says. You'll believe me. You'll 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 make some mistakes. You you have to you have to read it, and the videos are there to help you read it, not as a substitute for it. So, yeah, we're moving moving on to the Epicurean puzzles, and that puzzle is how can we consider death a bad thing for the one who dies under Epicurean conditions? <clears throat> 